Hello. We are here today with the wind. I hate to make you do that. <laughs> I'm here me. with coffee. Just make me seem really, really silly. The wind rises. We have been watching so many movies that I'm like, how many more? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got what another few three i think another three to watch so across both channels yes um we're doing this on Susie and stejo we're also doing it here so if you're maybe not interested in today's which you will be you can always go to Susie and stejo afterwards and see what we are doing over there because you love us so much though I wish we could talk about other movies, but I don't know where this movie sits during the week. So we can't even be like, God, yesterday's film that we watched was crazy. So this is the weirdest thing because like with the other channel, you kind of know what each of the movies are. They're in a, an order kind of, and you know okay. when, when in the week we want to post them. So we just started from the start and ended at the end, yes. end at Christmas Day. Yes. Whereas with this channel, most of these movies we know are good, but we don't know how good they're going to be. So it's like, what one do we want to save for Christmas? What one? And it's, it's not even like, what movie, like, what's the best one for Christmas? No, it's like, what one's the best Christmas vibe? What one do, do people want to watch on Christmas Day? Which one did we have the best reaction to? What was like a good, yes, that's the Christmas one? Yeah. So we never know until we do them. So we have no idea what day this is. But hey, it means that it could be three days till Christmas, four days. Could be Christmas Day. Could be. Could be Christmas Day. Who knows? Well, the wind rises, win the top spot, and become the Christmas Day movie. Nobody knows. But there's only one way to find out, and that's by watching it. <laughs> kind of. That was a nice segue, wasn't it? Yeah. If you want to watch this unedited, uncut, head on over to suzilu.co.uk and become a VIP member. Or if you prefer using Patreon, which I know a lot of people do, it's just Suzilu Official on Patreon. The links are down here, down, down here. I set, set that up with the web team so that you can just subscribe on Patreon and yeah. watch everything through the website. Super cool, super cool integration. This guy, Don't man. see it anywhere else. He got cool. the brains. And the brawn. Ah! Right, the wind rises, let's do it. Popcorn, juice, I don't have any, but I hope you do. Kohi. Kohi? Yeah, it's Japanese. Okay. For coffee. Go and get some kohi then. Kohi. Let's go. Do you know what that says? Something Japanese. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, that says in French. Wind rises is the one about the airplanes. Aeroplanes. We have lots and lots of airplane or flight references what this week. What is it? It's right up my alleyway. My earphones were all twisted. Studio Ghibles is just my I thing. think the Mr. Ghibli. It's Miyazaki, isn't it? Seems a Dark Souls block. Really? I think so, aye. That all makes sense. Not that it is the Dark Souls, that would be weird. <laughs> Something very wrong happened in his life that he went from <laughs> these stories to Dark Souls. Well, he went from a movie like Spirited Away to Grave of the Fireflies, so, you know. True that. I do, like, I feel like a lot of these ones, and I don't know, like, I could be talking out my bahookie, but I feel like a lot of these movies are, like, his childhood, like especially when it's like anything to do with the war and flying and... Not quite how aerodynamics work, but I like your... <laughs> I like your spunk regardless. This is very like Final Fantasy style music. That you can only hear if you're on my website. Because <laughs> it will not be on YouTube. There's so many scenes that they just don't get to enjoy on YouTube. It's sad. It is sad. Oh, flying low. That, like that's, that's just not dangerous at all, sir. Could have wiped out half the bloody population of that village there. Gosh, all the ladies, like, hey. I like this engine looks like a kettle. 
Wait. I was gonna say, what the hell is that thing? Dirigible! Not Why? too dirigible! Why what? It looked like um, a jellyfish on oh. one of them. Oh, that's too tight. Uh-oh. <gasps> no! My goggles! Oh, this is where the glasses are. Whoa! Oh my god! Well, I hope you've got that necklace thing from Castle in the Sky. That was just a dream, right? That didn't actually happen? Well, due to the, the lack of uh, aerodynamic, aerodynamic accuracy, I would assume it was a dream. Oh, Otherwise, this kid so. is just breaking all the laws of physics. <laughs> He's having a dream that all the ladies like him, he's able to fly, and then he gets taken down in a war. By the Nazis. <laughs> would it be the Nazis? It was the Iron Cross that was on the Oh, thing. okay. You know, even in this day and age, I feel like Nazi is a word that makes me feel uncomfortable to say. Yeah. Not when, because when of you're... the word, but because of people's reactions to the word. I feel like when you're talking about the actual Nazis, you know, it's, uh, I think it brings up a lot of uncomfortable thoughts. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of sad, like, I, I actually hate the fact that the term Nazi is just, like, thrown about so liberally nowadays. Yeah, especially with, like, the younger generation when they're, like, insulting someone. Yeah. Like, I'm glad that they don't really understand right the borrow? severity of the word, it's not clearly. Japanese. That's yeah. okay. I have a dictionary. All right, then. Give it a try. Thank you. Yeah, so this, I think the synopsis was the kids obsessed with this pilot, this Italian pilot. Oh. Yeah, go get him! Oh. How do you even walk in those shoes? Go! Oh, this ain't a dream. I was gonna say, that's when you swing the first punch. But he defend, he no attack. Ah, you look quite the hero. No, I just slipped and fell. Hmm. <laughs> Fighting is never justified. Yes, mother. Okay, well, fighting, yes. But defending? Maybe. In my opinion, if he just swung the first punch there, he would have still been defending. Not in my legal opinion. Well, they were being threatening towards him. Yeah. What kind of homework is that? It's an English magazine. God, it they is. like, he always makes the young kids so Adorable. bratty. Oh. Like very bratty. <gasps> what happened? Your face is scratched. Leave it alone, Kyle. You should put iodine on it. I'll do it for you. Did you cut it out? Yeah, you try to say you weren't like that at that age. No! Not like that nowadays. I am not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if my brother had a scratch on his face, I'd be like, I'll help you! And even like that now. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Ah, they're pretty. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Wow. Oh, okay. That is a lot of... That's a really meteor storm. I seen a, a shooting star recently, didn't I? Where I looked outside for two seconds, and I was like, Oh, look at that! And you were like, yeah, you saw your first shooting star. It was beautiful. Did you make a wish? I did. Has it come true yet? No. Oh. Well, one day. Hopefully. I'm a Japanese boy! I'm dreaming. I think this is my dream. I speak perfect English, but bugger your Italian. And I am Japanese boy. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god, what? Well, at least he, he, he revved up his legs first. You are Count Caproni, aren't you? I've been reading all about you. That's quite adorable. Interesting. Yes, this is a dream. This world's a dream. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm Ooh. honored. I wish I could share my dream with people that I looked up to. Maybe it would help if I looked up to someone. Do you not look up to me? You're my inspo. Oh. Yeah. I do, you're my hero. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it will all be over soon. Now look at these heroes, they're going to murder lots of civilians. That's what I mean, it's like, remember that <clears throat> phrase, never meet your heroes? Come on up, Japanese boy. He has a name. Oh. What do you think? Magnificent history. Let's take off. It's a thing. 
Instead of bombs, she'll carry passengers. Isn't that so funny? Like if you listen to the sounds, it's someone going ah, 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 choo, choo, for the yeah, for the planes. It's so cute. Oh. And then <laughs> it's really so cute, like it's yeah. it's hard to not focus on it. Walk along the spar, Japanese boy. <laughs> <laughs> come, Japanese boy. I know your clothes look like they're made out of parachute, but come. <laughs> okay, you definitely won't fly away. It's a beast, huh? I call this my air bus. I would not want to be the boat underneath it. What boat? It there was the a boat. boat. No, there was a little boat underneath oh, it. Uh, that's how you get on it. Gosh, I just think about the first people that put their lives on the line to be like, yeah, you know what? I want to go in a plane. Do you know it's what's crazy. wild though? To think that look at like look at this, and then we could literally fly to space. Spain tomorrow for like a hundred quid, both of us return. Oh, I thought you were going a bit further with space. Well, I mean, yeah, we can fly to space. But... Many can fly airplanes, but I design them. I create airplanes, and so can you. An aeronautical Aww. engineer! Yes! You know, when I first applied to go to university, that's what I applied for. Airplanes are beautiful dreams. Engineers turn dreams into reality. Yes! What a shame. They're not for making money. And now, as you say, we can just go to Spain for like a hundred quid. It's like, no, I think they're for making money nowadays. They're for making dreams a reality. Have you ever dreamed about going to Spain, Portugal? Rome, You're Japan. really into this, aren't you? Mother, I'm going to be an aeronautical engineer. Oh, that Is does it? sound like a good dream. <sighs> he told me that airplanes are beautiful dreams. So I'm going to make beautiful airplanes. Mom, I'm going to be a YouTuber. No, I'm going to create planes. <laughs> no, you shall go to university and get a degree in underwater basket making. It just, it blows my mind the way the world has gone. When I was a kid and I wanted to grow up and be something, it was definitely never to be like, I want to be like a YouTuber and just be excluded from the rest of the world. Yeah, I first applied to be an aeronaut aeronautical engineer, to do aeronautical engineering at university. Well, I haven't had my plane yet. No, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the grades in fourth year. I want to fly a plane, but I'm blind. In my left eye, so I would ah, I'm still fly a light aircraft. As long as my life is on the line, it's fine. Just not take anyone else. Miss, you'll lose your hat. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> In three, two, no, it's one. <gasps> oh no! She rescued your hat! Okay, can we not do that? Jeez. Nice catch. Merci beaucoup. Le vent s'élève. It's a French poem. Il faut tenter de vivre. Oh, love is starting so much younger nowadays. Bye bye. I wonder how old he's meant to be. Mm. He's like. So dapper. Whatever happened to uh, to people dressing nice? Trackies became far too comfortable. <laughs> and anyway, I feel seen on that one. Okay, I live in pajamas. I mean, you do dress nice when you're going out. I do try. Sometimes I dress far too nice when I'm going out and people are like, what's the occasion? <laughs> I left my house. I know, that is becoming an occasion nowadays. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. I think you're having a nightmare. I hope. No, that actually happened? <laughs> My god. What's happening? An earthquake? A bomb? An earthquake. I don't know. It's, it's so hard to tell with these because you don't know if it's based in reality or... What, you think there's like magic at work? No, no, I mean like... If it was a nuke, or if it was just an earthquake, or what? Oh my god. That was so visual that mm. I actually wondered if it was like blood 
that was like oh, coming God. up, you know? Get away! The uh -oh. is gonna blow! Oh my God. Leave your luggage, even the Gucci bag. Just go. It's gonna look for that girl. And Why is the boiler gonna blow? She won't be able to walk. Miss I'll help it. The boiler, please save yourself. Go. That's nonsense. <laughs> oh, you're coming. You're coming, me. We need to brace her leg. I don't feel like that was far enough. If an explosion's in. I was then... gonna say, yeah. Relax. What's that ruler? Yeah, it's a slide rule. Don't worry, I'll get you there. Oh. oh. Is the earth hungry? What the heck happened? I think they were bombed, you know? This isn't like the last time I watched a movie that started like this, it wasn't good. No, oh, it did not end well. I didn't middle well either. Oh man. I'm so sorry to the people in Crocs. Listen, I've seen these ninja movies where they were and them running across rooftops. <laughs> Sekiro. Ah. Oh, there's your friends, mate. Better hurry. But that was the people that he dreamt about, no? Well, he dreamt about the guy that designed the aircraft. But he didn't dream about what the rest of them were doing. What they were doing with the aircraft. I mean, he said he designed them to be good things, but he would never have full control over that. Where they went. Yeah. Tell that to Einstein. What the hell? Here, my mother made me this shirt. You must be thirsty. Don't worry, it's clean. Well, why did you tell her that your mother made you? That's, that's really weird. And for you? Please. Suck on my shirt. There's always you. <laughs> so just every time. Just you being you. Thank you. We'll bring someone to help get you home. I promise. Stay strong. I will. Please do not grieve with the fireflies, me. I... I never, can't, like... Never split up. What the actual... Those hunger sounds, they must have just been like the sounds of a giant fire roaring, you know? If your house still exists, I doubt there's going to be anyone sitting in it waiting for you to get them. This is like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> Everyone's house is like demolished. Not fully, but you can live in it. It is like, this reminds me of the village from Grave of the Fireflies. Mm -hmm. He is a child. Thank you very much for helping us take care of her. But wait, at least tell us your name. Uh, nope. What, names, dude? <laughs> names of power, see you later. It's just insane that, well, we kind of touched on this in Grave of the Fireflies, that this is what happened. And people packed up their stuff, and they went, well, I don't live here anymore. Oh, no. We grabbed everything we could carry out of the library. Gotta smoke. I don't smoke next to the books. Jesus. What? So, it's as beautiful as it was in the dream. I can't believe he really built it. I just can't believe that this has all happened <clears throat> and it's so normal. Ah, oh, they're just like taking on their stride. Just like, right, grab yourself. You got any cigarettes? I. Oh, look at this postcard. I love this guy. It's like. I was saying, now, have you seen any of the stuff from like, the way people talk about what happened during the Second World War and that? No. It's nuts, man. Well, I remember my granddad obviously being like a boy and talking about the times <clears> that he had like not ships but like airships firing at him yeah you know when he was down by the pier and he just talked about it the way i'm like how's your coffee yeah good yeah that's what it was like and it's it's nuts the worst thing i have is going into town i leave my phone at home oh, oh my god 
Worst thing we had is we had to stay inside for the half a year. <laughs> it was pretty bad though. All right, calm down. Just send it all in the ocean. There you go. <laughs> no point wasting your energy. Oh no. No, not the books. Is the wind still rising? Yes, it's a gale. Well, then you must leave. Le vent se lève. Il faut tenter de vivre. Yeah, cool. Just, just leave, man. Just live on. Sure. I would have stuck with that family, but that's just me. I don't like being by myself. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see like the kid from Grave of the Fireflies in the background. Oh god, they have a crossover and you can see him crying over his mum or something. And I'll be like, no! I can't do this! I don't think this one's gonna focus too much on it, hopefully. Hopefully not. But I do think it's in the same time. That's it, bombs come, and then you just get back to work. Listen, the Amish should have an entire bloody village built up in a day and a half. Oh look, mackerel again. Yeah, it's always good. Always. Always the same one, always the same mackerel. Who cares? I've had the same Starbucks, the same Costa, the same KFC, the same Subway. When you know, you know. What is it? Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that wonderful curve. Only you would get a thrill from fish bones. I know, fish bones will choke, okay? Yuck. I was looking at that, the perfect aerodynamic shape. Isn't that what autistic people are like? They can kind of see things a bit more. Whereas I would be like, oh great, look at this bone, I'm gonna complain. Well, it depends, you know. Autism is a spectrum. Yes? A young lady came by and brought this package for you, Mr. Horikoshi. Oh. You were out, so she left it with me. I see. Thank you very much. Aw, oh, is that a present from your girlfriend, Jiro? He literally saved their lives, both of them. He saved the girl in her hat, and he saved their mum. I like how it was just a kid in school just... Smoking. <laughs> ...having a cigarette. Aww. I forgot he obviously left his ruler with him. Mm-hmm, yeah. I missed her by a bit, mate. Well, yeah, if she left it with him and then he took it to you, she would have been long gone. That's a shame, though. He would have liked to have seen her. You have a guest waiting for you upstairs. Oh? It's a young lady. Huh? Young lady? Hello? Finally! Oh, I was going to say, sister. isn't that a sister? You've gotten so tall. And very pretty, too. You are so insensitive. I'm still mad at you because you never come home. But that doesn't change that you're very pretty. I'm going to be late. I'll tell them it's my fault. Don't worry. We'll take the penny steamer. I love what she's wearing. It's so cute. Yeah. Didn't you ever try to see her again? I did. I went back after the fires were out. Oh. Oh. Okay, well maybe they didn't rebuild and get back to working. Eh? Well, that was just after the fires went out. Did they ever explain why? War. Mm. War never changes. I didn't think Tokyo would recover so quickly. Should see it nowadays. Tore down a bloody capsule building. Why can't I live in Tokyo and go to medical school? Medical school? Oh, you should. Yeah. I think you'd make a great doctor. I think so too. When I'm home for New Year's, I'll talk to father about it. Obviously, daddy's little girl, he's just being overcautious. Well, Tokyo is the big city. Well. And it did get bombed. Well, you can't blame him then, can you? I wouldn't want my daughter there. Have you ever been on a sleeper train? I have not. Mm, no, not on a train, on a bus. I would vom if I was on a sleeper train. It might be alright, but I don't want to chance it with my motion sickness. I mean... I've been on a sleeper plane. Oh, I did that one too. Yeah. He's Go a on Beep beep! Like an idiot, man. You got a death wish! Yeah, what are they doing? 
magic things. Do you know I'm surprised that he'd happily get back on a train? Why? Well, after what happened. There's a train that blew up. I, well, yeah, but you'd have anxiety, surely. Oh. Abby? Yep. Glad you made it. Me too. We're just getting started. You certainly are. But did, did he get a job? Is he in Nagoya? Time will tell. Oh, I need to know. <laughs> I need to know the plot, <laughs> the ending, who yeah, dies. We're probably heading for the city to look for work. There were dozens of them, and there will be hundreds more. What? Oh, geez. All of them. Death Wish. Ah. Oh, jeez. It's awful and so sad. There were rules. What happens to people's money? I hate to break it to you, Giotto, but so is our new employer. So game over before it begins, right? Definitely seems like this is a very tough world to exist in. Well, I'm sure an aircraft designer would be quite, uh... It's a design for the wing strut fitting, and by the way, it's already late! Yes, sir. I need the <laughs> plans in the shop as soon as possible. Do what you have to do. Yes, sir. Damn, he is definitely the definition of a yes man. <laughs> yes, sir. Follow me. One guy waved at him. That was nice. This will be your desk. It's important. Nobody likes it. Maybe you will. <laughs> Name genius? Jiro Horikoshi. I am very happy to be here. Get to work. <laughs> yes, sir. And the rest yes, of you, sir. get back to work. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, God. He's a very uh, eccentric boss, you might say. He reminds me of Edna from, from... Incredibles. Ah. Uh, no cape! Mate, you need some clips for the top of your drawing board, I know, brother! Like, Come on! As an engineer, this triggers me so much! <laughs> Why do I fear, though, that he's gonna end up making a, a plane, but it's gonna get used for war? Oh, yeah. And it's gonna break his heart. So as the guy said, it's supposed to be used for a thing of beauty. For dreams. Do you know how to use one of those? Not in a long time. I've got no idea. Well, I was gonna say, it's, that's not something we used. We've come a long way since things like that. Didn't use many of those things in law school, you see. <laughs> There's like so much to consider and as you say, whoo, it was two guys that created this. And now look at us, flying. Flying. Can we ask a slight favor? Wow, it's really coming along. Oh, that's cool. I knew it. Kurokawa's obviously just hazing you. Unless his fitting is better than yours. Mr. Kurokawa's always tough on new employees. Poncho. So he's Come testing up here, take him. A look. That is not safe Something's for the ladder. <laughs> So I wonder if he's going to notice something on this strut that needs changing. It's got the same problem as my design. <laughs> then it must be bad. <laughs> Norman, lunch is over. What's going on? Quiet. They're working. I love it. Airplanes are fascinating. Yeah, <laughs> fascinating. But we're late. I know, but we come back with knowledge. Young man. Oh, that's the boss's boss. This is our boss, Mr. Hattery. Is this his first assignment? Strut fitting for the Falcon Project, sir. I like the way that he like stood up by doing like a full loop. A swirly whirly. You're wasting your time. Where is the assignment that I gave you this morning? Right here, sir. <laughs> I finished it. I love things well like done. this. What do you think, Kurokawa? It's perfect. <laughs> you son of I'm so angry. That's it, day one, and it's like, how, how long? You're allowed to go to bed. You're allowed dinner. So it's day one, he's already redesigned the aircraft from top to bottom. <laughs> Takes them two days to drag it out there. Oh, wow. Believe that? That's how backwards we are. I don't know. I like them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, surely you can design something that will be able to haul your prototypes out easier. Oh, yeah. But then, the little guys have a job and they don't get eaten. True that. We're gonna fly. 
hope this works. Oh, someone's nervous. It's crazy to think about all the, the simulations that we can now like can throw up on computers and things to test designs. You're making me nervous. The guy's just a test dummy in there. They call them test pilots. Well, same thing. Here she comes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why I always have two people. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yes, sir. A word with our clients. Gentlemen, well done. Yeah, your Falcon is one hell well, of a plane. I bet Mitsubishi couldn't do it. Now I'm buying drinks. <laughs> also, he's working for Mitsubishi. He's so happy. It's like he's finally where he needs to be. What? Why are you plowing to the ground? He's trying to break 200 knots. Uh. But was that part of the deal? Well, you better hope the designs are good enough. Oh my god. Is he on fire? No, no, it's fine. It was like that the first time. No, you idiot! Oh my god. In front of the client, really? Well, at least he had the other shoot. It needed tweaked, not destroyed. Moron. This guy thinks he's bloody Top Gun Maverick. <sighs> there won't be a Falcon 2. The army has decided to go with a competing design. Wow. Stupid pilot. So we have to shift course. We're going to design and build a heavy bomber. With help from the Germans. Yuck. What an idiot, though. That guy just ruined it. He's been sent to Germany? Well, sister definitely ain't going to Tokyo then. Yeah, like they were totally on board. And then he did that stupid maneuver. But maybe pilots would have done that stupid maneuver and died. Maybe <clears> that's <throat> the point, isn't it? They don't just want to have a bit of fun. They might want to mess about and then you realize, <laughs> so well, like, you know, you like to have fun. Sometimes you drive a car too fast, but if your car wasn't <laughs> made for that, it would explode. You mean, you mean dog fighting? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but two slices this time. Coming up. So you're getting mackerel again. Uh, their parents work late. Uh, they wait there every night. I feel bad closing the place up. I see. Well, thanks. See you tomorrow. Aw. Well, take them home for lunch. Do you think you can just take random children home for lunch? You can if they're hungry. See? Oh, it's a nice cake. Go ahead, take it. Come on. Ah, oh, well, you're lost. Well done, child. Don't accept sweeties from strangers. That's a difficult thing, though. Like when so you're you trying to be a good person and you're trying to help, and then they'll go on and starve. See, that line isn't always the right one, though. Uh, sponge cake again. Yeah. How do you stay alive? Because it's still calories, okay? <laughs> well, it might end up with scurvy, but... And you're still eating it. I want sponge cake. What did you expect? Did you think she was just gonna smile and say, thank you, sir? Of course not. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> this country wants airplanes, then I'm going to make the most of it. Really? They're sending you two? They told me today. Hey! That's great. So like can we roomie together again? It's like a road trip to Nazi Germany. I'm going to Tokyo tomorrow to get married. Married? Mm -hmm. To work hard at the office, you need a family at home. <laughs> More irony for you. Good night. Do you love the girl? That's definitely ironic. <laughs> yeah, what a strange... Okay. Listen, times are different It's probably just some then. like odd Japanese cultural thing. Maybe. Maybe she was turning 30 soon, so it was like, she got to get married. That's China. Oh. I love how we told that story in a different ep a different video about um, the umbrellas in China. 
And someone was like, yeah, they don't do that anymore. And I was like, well, it was like two years ago. I know, yeah. I don't see any oxen. Jiro, the airstrip's right next to the plant. Wow. Yeah, no more cows going for days, yeah. huh? Yowch. So say it, it just keeps going and going. Look, passengers sit in the wings. Be ashamed to put bombs there. <laughs> That's the job, pal. Yep. What? They're not letting us in? What are you hiding in there? Hmm. I mean, why wouldn't they just let them in? I mean, they're so the engineers. Much you, not much you could see. Oh, it's a little baby one! I'll take this one, please. <laughs> Even just like the quality of it, it's insane. You've been slamming doors in our faces all day. You Japanese copy everything. All this technology belongs to Germany. Oh, I get it. So you're afraid we'll actually improve it. Oh, Poncho, let me talk to them. I told you that's why they didn't want them inside. Well, as a soldier, my orders are not to leave you Japanese unattended. Moment, man. What's time beside me then? Douche nozzle. Christ sakes, man, what a little lap dog. That's Told you that's what it would have been, though. What an engineer. Yeah, they're worried that they're spying. Dr. Junkers gives you permission to go inside. It's like, oh, so now we have tension between us for no reason. Oh. I just did his job. Well. That's what a lot of them used as an excuse. You two should let the army reps sit in here, okay? Yes, sir. Just one moment, please. It's fantastic. What a fortress. A flying fortress. There's so much politics inside this airplane right now, and these two guys are just like kids, you know? Look at the engineer! Like, look at this all oh, man, it's amazing! Are you seeing this? It's incredible. A triumph. German industrial technology. Oh God, I just, I feel like we're gonna be learning so much and then towards the end of this, bombs are gonna fly and I'm, yep. not, I'm not ready for it. Once again, all these wonderful things, all this amazing engineering and mm -hmm. oh, look at that, we just killed like hundreds of thousands of people. Well, that's it, that's all it is. Cars, an amazing invention. How many people die every single day due to cars? These specs are useless. Jiro, give me a cigarette. You need to stop smoking, you need to start vaping. <laughs> give me a smoke. We're out. What, what, what? Uh, you could get a couple of fags out of what you've got left. God, my dad is literally like that. That's why he keeps them in an ashtray. Just in case. How stressful is your job, man? Maybe I should start smoking. But me not. No, I don't like the smell of it. Okay, I get it. German technology is so superior that they can put wings on anything and fly it. Including their damn radiators. <laughs> Bob, have you seen the Japanese B-Days? Oh, yeah. I can't even work them. I remember going into a public Japanese bathroom and I was like, I don't know how to flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't need their technology after all. Wood and canvas could be just as good as metal. Jiro, we cannot be stuck in the past forever. We're already 20 years behind. They're really good though at playing the game where they're like, we're just the engineers, no big deal. And then they're just like pad and pen, like da -da 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 -da, literally stealing everything. Well, they were there to buy it. Well, yeah. What other choice do we have? Keep running and catch up someday? I wonder if there's a different way to run. It's always a different way to run. It's just sad that it even has to be considered, though, just so that you can keep the people in your country safe. Yeah. Did he just rub your cigarettes? <laughs> uh, you understand German? What did he say? What was that? Secret police. We saw them in the hangar. Oh. Who are they hunting down though? Were they taking people out of their homes just then? I'm not sure. That's kind of what I look like. 
God, it's like outside just now. Is he dreaming again? I'm not sure. I'd say so, yeah. I was gonna say, well, one minute he's with his buddy and then... It's interesting, that's the same aircraft with Japanese colours. Let's see. Jiro, I'm done. The bath is yours. I think he's done for the day. He's kind of tired. Some of us will be returning to Japan right away. You're staying here in Germany. Oh. Jiro will continue west and return to Japan. Oh! West? They want him to see the world. Alone? Jiro. Wait, they're just gonna send someone alone? I don't like this business. Where to though? To go west, though. Go west. We well, ain't going back to Japan by going west. Well, it is just... It's a very long way. Play a journey. Mr. Caproni, is the wind still rising? Yes, sir. It sure is. Then it's a perfect time to embark on my final flight. Join me. Wait, you're retiring? That's one little thing. This is real or a dream. It's a big jump. Oh, it's a dream. I mean, oh. it's not as if he knows him, you know, it's of course a dream. Well, maybe they do know each other from the dreams, though. Hurry up! Yes, sir! Let me through, girls! <laughs> this is just... This is how the good side live. There you go, I made sure you were in it. I love all the sound effects, man. <laughs> The thing I hate the most about takeoff is when you're like this, but you're in a straight line. I thought we'd take a little jaunt before we deliver this bomber to the government. He might not have liked where his planes went to, but at least he got to use them and have fun with them. <laughs> True. Inspiration unlocks the future. Technology eventually catches up. That's my family. Oh, bloody propellers oh, terrifying me. Italians are getting poor as well. <laughs> Too many mouths to feed. It must be hard for any Japanese people to watch this film and actually have it be where it's like, oh, this backwater place, we're too poor and, and all that, comparing it to the other countries that are rich and... Because I wouldn't like that as a Japanese person. Well, I mean, they weren't doing too well back then. Well, what changed? Stuff. Technology. I choose a world with pyramids in it. Which world will you choose? I just want to create beautiful airplanes. But at the end of the day, if he doesn't make them, someone, will. someone else will. Are you really going to stop yourself from doing something you love because of where it might end up? Exactly. Bravo. A beautiful dream. They fell off a bloody wing. I know. I thought he was just going to hold on to the back of it and just wee. Artists are only creative for 10 years. We engineers are no different. Live your 10 years well, Japanese boy. At least he has someone that's inspiring him. They may not actually know him, but at least they're inspiring him. Let's go get some coffee. But I've got to go to a... Cancel it. <laughs> the boss has spoken. I wasn't sure I was going to like him, but I don't mind the boss. How long have you been here? Five years. Jiro, Ooh. we're going to bid for the Navy's carrier-based fighter. We think you're ready to be the plane's chief designer. Oh, Jiro. What do you think? Are they going to take it? Leave it to me, sir. Oh. Good. I'd like Honjo on the team, sir. Not a good idea. You just end up competing. Friendships are always more important. I kind of agree with that one where it's like, should you work with your friend? Could cause problems down the line. Yep. Everyone in engineering always wants to be the one that has like the best project. No one likes to work underneath someone when you're like both engineers. It sounds like somebody snoring. I was gonna say, is someone like slurping their juice? See? Still wooden canvas though. 
Tag dig for en. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't think you're long in that. Probably should have jacked. Oh my god. Damn these Japanese engines. I was going to say, that's not even a, a plane design. That's an engine. Damn these short runways. Ah, screw that though. I brought some clean uniforms. Ah, oh, thank you very much. At that point, why are you not just having a shower? <laughs> you're practically in the sink. I mean, they don't have showers. Maybe. Pew! <laughs> like Dick Dastardly style. Yeah, I hate those really, really short takeoff platforms. <laughs> oh no. Oh! oh don't we listen. can swim! Christ. It's like I just had a shower. Whose engines are you using? I don't know, but you should probably fire them. It's definitely not a Rolls Royce anyway, is it? God, this is just like a day out in Inverness. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking seagulls. Mike, Mike, Mike. How many people does it take to fish? Where's the cows? I want to your cows. Do you know what those things under the wheels are called? No, but I know what they are. What are they? They're to stop it from taking off, like moving forward until you're ready to actually move it forward. Yeah, you want to know what they're called? Stoppers. No, they're called chocks. Chocks? Yep. C-H-O-C-K-S. Oh. Have you ever heard the saying, chocks away? Chocks away means remove the chocks so that you can move. I love it. just. I know I've said this before, but those sound effects are so good. I would not want to be the chalks away guy. No, chalks away. You got this. And also, don't two hundred meter dive to the ground or some nonsense. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thought they weren't making this again. Mm. No, this isn't that one. This is this is his project now. So this isn't the Falcon 2? No, this is a Falcon Heavy Rocket. There is something so beautiful, though, about flying amongst the clouds. <laughs> it's so funny, though, he's talking about, like, how a lot of the country's starving and they're getting paid a fortune. And like you say, this... I don't know if this is set in the same time as Grave of the Fireflies, but it's like it's, there's people going through what they went through in Grave of, Grave of the Fireflies. Mm-hmm. But we're not seeing it from that side this time. So is that his lady friend up there? The one he rescued? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, oh, uh oh. No. Be like, are you joking me, man? Again? Oh, many poems. Nah, we just leave. Oh, oh. Just impales him. And that is the end of our hero. It's just an umbrella. You don't need to fight it. Just let it go! <laughs> That's one way to get someone's attention. I know. Steal that umbrella. <laughs> that was a nice catch! I made that look good! <laughs> I will make sure that it stays grounded. Yes, sir. What if that was his lady? Well... No, it wasn't his lady. As my mum loves to say, what's for you won't go by you. Don't worry. He's staying at our hotel. You'll have a chance to say thank you. Oh! You're a sucker for love. Yes. What size is that rim that you've been given? <laughs> That's, as you say, you're talking about a time where there's like war and bombs and people losing their homes. And then you talk about him getting like the biggest room in the hotel. Mm. The ladies are out pay playing tennis. But that's just it. He's an engineer. So of course he's getting the money. Mm. But he still lies on the floor. Talk about addicted oh. to your work, though, eh? 
Well, like his friend says, he feels like he's got the entire weight of the Japanese military on his shoulders. Mm. Yeah. That would suck though. Imagine being an engineer and and that's what you sent up and you designed it. So, you know, you've got the uh, responsibility. It is her. So where's the mum then? Because he never did get to say thank you to her. Why would he say thank... Oh, for bringing the ruler back. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel kind of sad for him, though. Just being that addicted to your work. Mm. You know, he's by himself all the time. He has no life except in his brain. Yeah. You know, work, work, work. Fly, fly, fly. Jesus. I guy likes his greens. I was going to say, man. He might as well be a rabbit at this point. <laughs> and they're not even kicked or anything. Might as well just be out in the bloody garden yeah, chewing away. Grass. I feel like there's an innuendo in there somewhere. <laughs> just go outside and start licking some grass. <laughs> That's what I mean, character needs to do, touch some grass. <laughs> Something about that man who caught the parasol. Oh. Well, he seems to be here by himself. He is a single Pringle. So she didn't recognise him? Well, I don't even know if that's the right person. Well, I'm just assuming it is, okay? They look the same. Where's she gone? Skinny dip. Poof. Disappeared. She couldn't see Totoro. Totoro. Probably the first time you would have seen a woman like that. No, oh, never mind. She's not skinny dip. Oh, here he goes again, being a creep. Please don't go. I was giving thanks to this spring. I asked it to bring you here. I asked it to bring you to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, who's being creepy? Nothing. You're a sucker for love. I've changed it all from that day years ago. It was her! It's just the same. Aww. We were so grateful for your help after the earthquake. It was an earthquake. My name is Naoko Satomi. I'm Jiro Horikoshi. I'm oh, the Japanese boy. It's meant to be. Where's your umbrella now, huh? Oh, but the painting's gonna get wet! Oh, maybe she used watercolours or something. No, if she used watercolours, that'd be bad. <laughs> I am not an artist, this so I don't know. useless. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. It's not an umbrella, it's a parasol. Well, I'm not doing much now to keep you dry. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind at all. Kino will be so excited when I tell her. I found our hero again. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, your painting is ruined. No, it's not. I told you. I always you remember this day when I look at it. Ah, oh, I just love it. Love it so much. That's what I was going to say. I bet if it changed it, she'd be like, well, it's okay, because that's how it was meant to be. Oh, Jiro, look. Is it a rainbow? It's a rainbow. They're some of the most beautiful things in the world. We should go. My father's. I design aircraft to kill people. Life's wonderful, isn't it? Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't look at him that way, you know. <laughs> Jiro Horikoshi, I'm Satomi. It's so very good to meet you, Mr. Horikoshi. They're just gonna tell him, be like, "This is my nightshade armor, da." Yeah. The question is, what does the dad do for a living, and how is it gonna totally be like the opposite for him? I don't know. He's an assassin. Well, I wasn't going to go that far. Hired by the Germans to spy on the Japanese Air Force. Did they stand him up? Remember when you could smoke in restaurants? You know they only banned that in like, what, the past five years or something like that? No, more than that. Ten years. Not in this country. It's been a while in this country, but... But yeah, I can't believe that there was a time that I like sat in a bar and, and ate my smoking. dinner yeah. and people were smoking yeah, right horrible. next to me. I don't know if it's still the same in Spain where you can still do it, but I do remember going on holiday to Spain and it being such a shock. This is quite a good place. No mosquitoes, not too hot. 
Good water, Chris. A good place to forget bad things, isn't that right? That's water, Chris. Right? I'm afraid they are Japanese. Thank you. It's like my dad. Just one gone, Next. and another one Next. gone, and another. Do you think Germany will go to war again? Yes, they must be stopped. Okay, oh, oh. well, nice chat. So lovely to meet you. We'll have to cancel our dinner plans. Oh, oh I'm sorry to hear that. Well, she got wet and cold. The doctor will be here soon. I must go. I hope she's okay. It's just a bit of rain. God, people are so simple these days. Oh, well, that guy. German friend. Yeah. Bit serious for an evening chat, wasn't he? Well, okay. Thanks for the information. What are we supposed to do about it? This poor guy already feels responsible for the entire bloody Japanese mm -hmm. military. And now yeah. you gotta make him feel responsible for the world! Well, I say, it's not just him. And you can try and talk to him like that. But there'll be someone else. There's always someone else. That's like me, man. I'm so nosy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Who's on the boat at this time of night? It's 8.30 in the evening. I can't believe that I know people that go to bed at like that time. That's just wild, isn't like, it? Like, disgusts me. <laughs> what time we go to bed last night? 7 a.m.? <laughs> 6 a.m. 10 to 6, actually. I mean, I drank an entire bottle of cava myself. Spilled half of it. To How be are you fair. feeling? He did spill. I need to, like, literally wash the couch today. <laughs> And you can't even blame me for it. You could try, but it literally wasn't even me. I'm gonna blame you anyway. You know who I blame? Society. Winnie. Society? Do I hear a joke? No. <laughs> Let the wind carry these wings. Carry these wings to you. Oh. It's just so sad. Oh. Sad because he just loves Now he's going to fall off and break his bloody neck because he's an idiot. Be careful, man. It's just a piece of paper. Make a new one. Make another one. She's alive. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. He held his body weight. He's fine. Did just leave it, man. <laughs> Wee. Look, it's flying now! Look, there it goes! Whee! Now he's invented the glider. <laughs> oh. I mean, he did just break your dad's balcony. It's like, hi! This wasn't me. It was here when I got here. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you get my plane? Literally, if someone did that to me, I'd be like, is that a new stretch or something? Like, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> She's like, I got it, I got it! Don't I need this for the motherland! Why would you crash it? She just doesn't understand, does he? I mean, he's so happy for one that's just like, the world is going to burn. Well, he's just happy because he's not in Germany. <laughs> Does she have like Da Vinci's line machine there? Or was it just an umbrella? Oh! Pew! Right in the eye. Jesus <laughs> <And Lord. she's> <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop? Is this. This isn't a safe game. I don't like this. No, after watching. Was that Silent Voice? I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't messing with balconies. Oh no, no. And what happened to her on the train? <laughs> Poke someone's eye out with that, man. Clearly never went to school, did he? They were always taught not to play with elastic bands. What? <laughs> Catch the hat! You all just have no... Concern for your own safety. Nah, she no thinks that she can fly. See, if that was me, literally the first time I threw it would end up in a tree. The tree that was right next to you, though, because you were like... 
<laughs> I used to be able to make paper airplanes, but don't ask me now. I can still make paper airplanes. Do we get dinner with her now or just the dad? Nur einmal geben. I mean, that's quite, like, nice. Not the right language to be singing in around this time of the world, though. Yeah, but it, what you mean even, like, in 2022? No, no. Oh, I was going to say, because we've kind of moved on yeah, from that. Free. But No, it's nice, though, that there was other people joining in with that. Yeah. At the beginning, this young man was very gloomy. Now he's very happy. Aww. Because he's in love. Oh! You will go down the mountain and forget all about it. That's not true. Good, I'm glad Never. that's not true. Don't try and tell me how I'm gonna feel. I love her very much. Oh, oh my god, you've only spoken to once. I sincerely hope you'll approve, Mr. Satomi. Well, I don't, um... Father? Uh-oh. I would very much like to have your approval too. You fucking old woman! I, like they Back in the kitchen! <laughs> They've only spoken like twice. Ah, oh, you don't know about that, man. I've been, been having some secrets. Don't nurses. try and cut. Two years ago. And now I have it too. Her mum died of it. I've loved you since the day the wind brought you to me. The day Aww. that the wind was rising! But first, I'm going to get well. Will you please wait for me? I will. Even if it takes a hundred years. Listen, movie, I know where you're going with this and I, I hate yeah, it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is a summer to remember. Oh. Well, screw your planes. Just spend all your time with her. Yeah, give up all your career prospects and everything that you've loved all your life. You don't need it when you find love. <laughs> you see that? Like, that's what you've done. Did I? No. When did you get back? Two days ago. Hot, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's hot. Take a look at this. You can't believe he's in love. <laughs> Good clean lines. So they like sending him back and forth to Germany though, don't they? What, what do you mean? Who is in Germany just now? No. Yeah, because his buddy had to stay behind in Germany. No, they're back in Japan now. But he just said, oh, you just got back. Yeah, to uh, where they are. To the Mitsubishi place. I'm not in Germany. That was like years ago. That's not how breathing works. That's it. What a great idea. As usual. You should use it. Thanks, pal. But not this time. Oh? He wants it to all be his idea, right? Your idea belongs in your next plane. Thanks, Honjo. You're welcome. No! You should be making your current designs better as well. Jiro. Get back to the office. Thanks. I'm coming. Come to the house for a drink next time? Sure. Jiro, you pedal. <laughs> you pedal. I'm jumping on the back. Your legs are bigger. The secret police are looking for you. Oh. Oh, great. Did you hear me? The thought crime boys. The thought crime boys. Well, why me? Didn't ask. I told them you were away. What's Jiro been up to now? I was gonna say, what's he done though? He's not done anything. He fell in love. Is that a crime? I was talking to the German man. But why would they possibly be after me? I don't understand. They've already arrested some of my friends. None of them understood why. Oh no. They're coming after the people with the brains, eh? Mr. Kurokawa, what do you think? I hope you youngsters appreciate the luxury of extruded aluminum alloy. That's it! Now back to work! <laughs> <laughs> it's like he wants to be their friend, but not too close. Dude's been making aircraft out of bloody balsa wood and canvas. This is outrageous. These things shouldn't happen in a modern country. <laughs> <laughs> you are engaged! <laughs> You're a human after all. I thought you would marry an airplane. I don't find that very funny. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it is kind of funny. The company will do everything to protect you. If you keep Aww. your mind in your work. If you keep your mind in your work. So as your German friend. I pray every day that he managed to leave Japan safely. Seems like he was a traitor to the, uh, the Germans. Yeah. And now they want to know what he's told you. Yep. Well, I mean, of course he was a traitor. He was 
you know. Bad mouth and Hitler. Pretty much. How dare he? And we all know that you never bad mouth Hitler. Naoko has had a lung he hemorrhage. Hemorrhage. That Tommy. Uh oh. Oh my God. Mrs. Kurakawa, please, I need to know the quickest way to get to Tokyo. Tokyo? Today? Yes, it's an emergency. I have to be there as soon as possible. All right. This is what's gonna get him captured, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Well, we did always kind of take the rip out of him for being that obsessed with airplanes, and now he's found someone that he loves, wants to marry, and I don't think that's gonna happen. I told you I knew where this movie was going. I don't think I'd be doing my work there. You gonna mess up the paper, my dude. But if that was two days ago. True. True, I forgot you said that. Don't trust you in the hat. I don't trust you. Oh, it's supposed to be the magic mountain. What if it's a lie as well? Oh! To draw him out. Oh, I don't. Don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. But she's still with us. Darling. Oh. I swear if they take him away in this moment, I'ma kill them. He turned up as soon as he could. Take care, my darling. Sleep well. Good night, sir. I'll see you out. Oh. Aww. I wish I could look after her, Mr. Satomi. She seems so tired. The last thing Noko wants is to be a burden to you. You'd better go. Yeah, but you're never a burden to the one you love when you get sick, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Okay. Because I'd look after you, yeah. and I did look after you when you had the norovirus. Yeah, you did, I? I'm going to the sanatorium in the mountains, the one the doctor recommended. But why? Sanatorium? Because I want to get better, Father. I want to have a life with Jiro. Oh. I hope he's paying attention and watching his six. Just made it! Okay, he's fine. <laughs> You're so <Woo>! paranoid. <laughs> well, I don't want him to be a, a POW. Gentlemen, I'll do my best. Now you'll see the Navy. They're the client. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I know, I love it. Rabble, 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 army people. Rah, 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 rah. Gentlemen, I'll do my best. You weren't <laughs> even listening. Nope. <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. I pushed the design to the limits of technology with split flaps and slats on the leading edges. What a beast. Gonna be kicking some booty. I just want his boss to be like, I'm proud of you. That's all I want to hear. What was the big problem? One solution would be we could leave out the guns. <laughs> Dude, you're trying to be selling these to the Navy. We're going to skin the entire plane with flush rivets to produce a nimble, fast aircraft. <laughs> I love his hair. I know, I just can't deal with it. It was inspiring. Aww. Oh. He got his moment. He just hasn't heard it yet. He always just looks so intense, but then you can imagine the stress that's on him. Is this the mountain sanatorium? Today's letter. Thank you. Why are they just cutting outside in the bloody cold? Do you know that how warm so sleeping bags are? That looks so cozy. <laughs> Bloody snow and inside a sleeping bag. I don't speak Japanese, so you're gonna have to translate it for me, please, lady. She also said that because he kissed her, he could get sick. No, I don't think so. She did say that, though. She did? But what would, what would what would life be if you couldn't kiss your loved ones? Mm. 
I was just letting arm off. See you later. Well, she was outside in the snow in a sleeping bag. It was a bit chilly. I know. I don't think I'd be staying there for long. Does the mountain flush out all your toxins because you're freezing? Chief, you have a phone call. I'll have to call them back. I think it's an emergency. Hello, Mr. Uh-oh. Satomi. Good to hear from you, sir. Yes. Yes. What? She's gone AWOL, brother. Well, what did you say to her? Or actually, what did someone say to her? Does she feel like she's just a burden? Is she all better now? She looks well. I don't know, I don't imagine that this movie is going to be one of those with a happy ending where they get married, have kids and then live happily ever after. Well, it's not been like a really unhappy movie. It's an educational movie. So it's been threatening it. It has been threatening something. What? We might get nothing. <laughs> My Beyonce is there. No. She literally fell into his arms. You all right, my love? Can you walk? Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming the secret police aren't after him anymore. I have to go back. I just needed to see you. No, oh. don't go back. We should be together. Together forever, no matter how long. Me and my Pikachu. You should be together. Your job shouldn't be keeping you apart. We have plenty of room, dear. I know we have the room. That is not the problem. Uh I simply can't approve of an unmarried couple living under this roof. Okay, we go get married then. Mrs. Kurakawa, will you please be our witnesses? What? Tonight? (laughs) My doctors know about this. And my father has given his blessing. Please help us. Oh! See how cheap their wedding is. Uh, <laughs> I know. We could have done that. Yeah, remember if you want to watch these unedited, to go to the website and and Patreon and yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't weddings mind are him. expensive. He's always like that. Yes, he he's a grumpy wee man, but he, he he means well. I would have to give up the fighter project, Mr. Kurokawa, because I would go with her. Oh! Is that your heart or your ego talking? No, this is hard. Local doesn't have much time. We've made our decision. I see. All right. So I guess it's on with the wedding. He's a cute. I thought he was about to be like, "All right, well, I quit. I'm not doing this anymore." <laughs> she looks like a ghost. She actually felt pretty. Yeah, she should be with him. You know, if she doesn't have much time, she should be there. Yeah. Oh, he's so excited. So nervous. I wonder if she borrowed clothes from... Yeah. ...from her. Hear me! The man I present is an insensitive chucklehead without even a home to call his own. But if that's what she wants, she can come in. And then they shall exchange the sacred vows. So literally be me and you, but yeah. hopefully not with someone I'm like him. I'm an insensitive chucklehead. And suddenly she's the most beautiful girl in the world. Her name is Jabba the Hutt. Aww. You are beautiful. That's cute. She's got the Triforce on the back of her top. It's not fair though that they don't get to be together. No. I refuse to let someone cut onions again this week. Remember that movie we watched last year about the girl that was making sake by chewing it up and then spitting it back into the bottle? Oh my god, who was that again? I can't remember what one that was. Was that not uh, your name? Or her name? Your name? We will never forget our debt to you. Oh. Nonsense, there is absolutely no debt to repay. We're both so happy that you found each other. We give. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're both very, very brave. Hey, he does have a heart. Oh, bless him. Oh, God bless. I feel like I'm in a wonderful dream. Oh. It feels like the room is spinning. Then you should try to get some rest. Come here. Are you sure? Come here. This is the part where the camera... Okay, the lights go off at this point. I don't need to be here. This is the bedding ceremony. 
Oh, the Lil sister. Sus. Um, you got a new <sighs> sister-in-law. But Lil Sus was wanting to be a doctor. Maybe she can help. I mean, she was wanting to be a doctor. Well, her brother's a bloody genius, so maybe she's a genius. You're going to tell me you completely forgot I was coming? Yes, I completely forgot you were coming. You are so insensitive. <laughs> and a chucklehead. Congratulations on finishing medical school. Hey, go sis! Naoko's condition is much worse than you think, Jito. I know because at school I've watched as people... She's my sister now. I really like her. How can you do this to her? <laughs> I don't know though, I mean, she'd be alone in a bed somewhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're here. Can't you do something, sis? Nothing at all? I mean, she's probably so happy knowing that he's gonna come home every night. Yeah. Did you see your sister? Yes. I like her a lot. So confident and strong. She's got such a bright future ahead of her. She is literally dying and she still folds his clothes. Gets out of bed to fold his clothes and everything. It's like, what a woman. Come a little closer. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Skirt. Give me your hand. Oh. I can make each rib half an ounce lighter. You can? It's good. 30 ribs, that almost makes a pound. See, I knew it. You work better when you're holding my hand. Oh, you're right. That's my favorite times, like whenever I'm unwell and I'm in bed, so you come in and you play video games so I can watch. Yeah. It's kind of like the same thing. Yeah, it's very difficult for us to do any work. <laughs> if one of us if gets one's sil a... sil sick. Sil I need a cigarette. Can I let go for a minute? No, smoke here. <laughs> I think that's the best for you when you I know. consumption or whatever you're dying of. Yeah, like let him smoke somewhere else. I don't think she has very long. No. And that's why she's like, no, just be in here now. I don't think she's gonna live long enough to see this finished. No. We're still learning how to do it. Well, you'll get it. You already left the Germans behind. I'm still stuck with them. <laughs> this design is classic Jiro. That's why they wanted his brain though. Because as he says, all oh, you've left them behind. Yep. So without a redesign, Japan's first advanced bomber only needs two or three hits and she'll burn like a torch. Yep. Well, she just has to make sure she doesn't get hit. <laughs> That's impossible though. And who are they gonna bomb with it? China, Russia, Britain, the Netherlands, America. Japan will blow up. Yep. Imagine knowing that though. I know. They're like, these are just gonna start wars that we're gonna lose. Well, yep. Well, they would have known that, but the big wigs wouldn't have cared. No. Problem is, they thought that they were so technologically advanced and then they, uh, they, they poked the wrong bear, didn't they? They bombed Pearl Harbor and that did not end well. My plane's finished. Now we'll see how she flies. Congratulations. Oh, you've worked so hard. The oxen are taken into the field now. Got that ox! You must be tired, my love. Not me this morning. I couldn't have done it without you here. I love you, Jiro. Oh. No, oh, go. So he has to go away for a bit, does he? Mm. I don't like it. Anytime that he's like, I have to go away, I'm like, oh. I'm gonna say I can't be very comfortable sleeping in glasses. <laughs> no. That's like me sleeping with my headphones on and you get like a wire line all down your neck. <laughs> it was so Aww. cute together. Hugs are my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> it's funny, I just noticed we're pretty much right at the end of this movie. So I'm like, his plane's gonna fly, but then what? Oh. I hate that. You never see that when you say goodbye to someone, do you? But you always know it's there. Yeah. 
I'm feeling so much better today, Mrs. Kurokawa. So I thought I'd take a walk. Be careful. Don't tire yourself out. I know. Where are you going? So say, we heard this before uh, in another movie. Do you think she's going to, like, where is the plane taken off? Maybe she wants to see it. Maybe. I don't think civilians would be allowed, though, surely. Yeah, that was me. I'd be like, stop! Boss man! <gasps> oh, no. No. She'd already straightened up. She left us letters. This letter is for me. Oh, no. I don't think she was feeling better. Let her go. We shouldn't do anything until after Naoko's train leaves. She wants him to always remember her as she was. Oh. But it's on his happiest day. But she doesn't want him to see her dying. It's amazing that she managed to kind of fake that as well. Like, I feel good today. And everyone was like, okay, okay. Yeah. Come on, plane, you got this. Wonderful. Just look at her, a true Japanese fighter. There's he retracting the landing gears. How fast is she? 240. 240? Well, if it retracts the landing gear, you go quicker. What? She went there, didn't she? Oh. I was like, what's that? That's a windsock. I think he felt a disturbance in the force. Hey, Gino! Gino! You always know, though, don't you? It's so strange. Yeah. I thought she was going to somehow be in the field, you know? Yeah. That'd be too nice. It's kind of messed up when you think about it. It's like, it's been a really nice movie, but the reasons for these planes, it's not nice. Yeah. All the Japanese flags on them. All your country's aircraft. Well, his friend said to him. What about your 10 years in the sun? Did you live them well? Yes. Things fell apart in the end, though. That's what happens when you lose a war. There is your fighter. Yeah, at least your aircraft flew beautifully. And it looked really beautiful as well. But it's got no weapons attached to it. One of the um, really interesting innovations in World War II, I say interesting, was... Um, they actually invented guns for the front of aircraft that would synchronize with the RPM of the engine so it could fire in between the propeller blades. Someone is waiting for you. Oh? Is this his dream, though? Oh, but he says that this is the uh, it's like graveyard of the dead, though. Just like his airplanes. She has been waiting here for a long time. And she blew away like the umbrella. She was beautiful. Like the wind. Oh. You must leave. But now, shall we drop by my house? I have some very excellent wine. What a crazy movie this has been. <laughs> it's nothing like I expected at all. It's just like... So real and so sad. Damn it, another sad one. It's all sad, it's nonsense. So sad. It's kind of left me speechless. Where's all the happy movies? I'm so <laughs> sad. We've done this again where it's like, as soon as it started going into like the war details, I was like, oh, oh no. no. Like I've picked another, well you picked this one, actually. I thought it was going to be a happy movie. I thought, I thought gonna we were going like... to take flight and. I thought it was going to be like Castle in the Sky or. 
All it right. started off with the vibes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, cool, kids going to start designing aircraft, not be really cool. What I didn't realize is that a kid actually designed the Japanese suicide bomber. Cool. Yeah, that's why I had no. <laughs> that's why no came back, because it was a really fast aircraft with no weapons. Well, as soon as I was looking at them and I was like, they don't have any weapons on them. I don't know if they had any weapons. Well, oh, they didn't look like they had any weapons on them. Yeah, I could. There was gaps in the 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 front where the engine is, but I didn't. I don't know if they were air intake or if that was. But I think the if there was going to be weapons, they would have discussed it and shown it. Mm, maybe, yeah. But they just showed an airplane that had. That was very fast. Yeah, it was double the speed of the German one. They said that that could go up to five hundred, and the Germans was in the two hundred. Mm. I I need a happy movie. <laughs> ah, God. Yeah, sorry, I was just looking at the ones that we've watched already. The I mean, Kiki's was nice. Kiki's was, was nice. Happy movie. We're not supposed to be saying. Well, Kiki's was first. So yeah, Kiki's was the that. first day. Um, that was brutal. And it was so in depth as well, which is kind of what made me love it. You really got into his life. Mm. With that, it wasn't just... Like, I felt like I knew him. Yeah. And then he dedicated so much of his life to being an amazing engineer, but as the guy he idolized said, it's supposed to be this beautiful engineered thing that come the end, everyone died. Not a single one came back. Yeah. While he lost his wife in the process as well. Yeah. Well, his his wife was living with him and he was coming home late at night and barely seeing her. Because and... yeah, he was sad. dedicating his life to his creating those aircraft. I feel really sad. Oh. <laughs> it's just crazy. You know, we learned all about war in school, but it's something that as you get older, I feel like it kind of leaves your brain a little bit it's not something that i would say i'm very knowledgeable on but i'm certainly not knowledgeable from like the japanese side and what they did so it's funny because obviously like in when when we learn about the war we learn a lot about what happened in europe Mm -hmm. like with the germans the french the italians like all that side of things as opposed to what happened with the Japanese and that side of the world? I mean, they literally went over to Germany and realized that technology-wise, they didn't stand a chance. The Japanese? Yeah. Mm. So then, as you say, well, you might as well make some planes that can just fly into them or fly quicker. And I don't know well, if no, I though, want to... Well, no, because Japan- the Japanese run the Germans' bloody side. Mm. They didn't seem like they had a very good relationship well at the end of the day it was all uh, secrets between them even if they were allies you know they weren't sharing technology no of course not every country wants to be the best even yeah. if you're friends you know but uh I yeah another sad movie I was at the point where I was like I think I've cried at every single movie we've watched this week that I don't know if I can cry anymore I genuinely am like yeah <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I can cry anymore because, like, my heart is just so broken Aww. with these movies. So I'm like... Some of them are happy tears. I really need... There's one more on this list that I'm like, it's going to be a happy one. <laughs> you try to convince yourself. I'm like, like it's, it's going to be... It's got to be a happy one because I'm just... It's Christmas! It's supposed to be happy. Mm-hmm. So. Well. Well then. Well. But that is one of their most popular movies as well. And you know, I can see why. It's not your traditional reaction movie, mm. but cuts you. Cuts you right in the, right in the, the jiggly bits. Mm-hmm. <sighs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you all in tomorrow's reaction. Bye-bye.